Oh my god! Oh my god. Can we all just agree that sleeping with someone on the first date is not hoeing? It's an interview. And if you get a call the next day, you got the job. It's always funny how they try to justify the bad behavior. No, if Chad calls you back, then you get the job. And in most cases, you don't even get a text. Hey, just popping in for some quick dating advice. If you find that you're starting to smile when you get messages from someone, just go ahead and block that person now. That's called feelings and we don't have those anymore. She's lying to you ladies. That's a bad advice. A few moments later. Ugh. Dude. With dating these days, are we having a competition to see who can be the most nonchalant? Because I'm a really chalant person. And I don't know why we're doing this. Please make it stop. She just told us she didn't have any more feelings. What happened to that? Three days later. Alright men, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna take your hand. You're going to stick it all the way down the back of your pants. You're going to take a giant scoop right from the hole. Pull it out. Take a whiff. Then you're going to ask yourself, do I deserve respect? The end. You'd be surprised how nasty some of those women are. Men are so funny. Um, a concept was brought up to me today about how I shouldn't fuck on the first date because it leaves them wanting more and it builds sexual tension here's the thing i am not interested in someone who can't lay good pipe if you want to have sex on the first date it's your body it's your choice no one's gonna stop you that being said don't get mad at the guy for not respecting you because most guys are not gonna respect you if they can get it so easily um if things are progressing if i'm into him during the evening then I found the first date so I don't waste either of her time and I weed out those who underperform and I figure out if he's worth pursuing. That's not the way it works. The guy's gonna get to see her for what she is. If he's a smart guy he's gonna move on to the next one. And at the end if he was just looking to get laid then happy to help. Charity work. Bruh. No matter how she puts it, the guy's gonna win. He's still gonna get what he wants. Three weeks later. Not sure if it's apparent enough by my decision making, but I never went to college. So when a college boy invited me to his dorm room, I said yes. It's because I wanted to be able to say that I went to college. He was pretty tall, so his bed was set up decently high, high enough where he had to lift me up and I had to jump. Didn't time it well, I fell off the bed. We start watching a movie about catfishing, which is ironic because we met on a dating app. Um, 10 seconds into the movie, he starts kissing me, filling me up, whatever. We do the thing in the 2 by 4 bed. The movie was an excuse. The guy had no intention of watching that movie. And guys, a lot of those women are getting pumped and dumped on a regular basis. And eventually, we end up going to sleep. He takes all of the covers throughout the night and then pushes me into the window ledge up against the January winter cold window. At some point in our communication, he had promised me breakfast the next morning. There was no breakfast the next morning. Basically, Chad was saying anything just to get in her pants. It was so easy. Even a caveman could have done it. He actually said, you're kind of getting in the way of my morning plans after he received a 9.30 a.m. FaceTime call. When I was leaving, his roommates accused me of stealing their AirPods. Good experience. And as expected, she got ghosted. Are you there? I'm not upset that he ghosted me. I'm not upset that he hurt my feelings. I'm upset because now I have to explain it to my best friend after I promised I would stop doing this. Not two, not three, not four, not five. She belongs to the street.